Some people claim that the resurrection of Jesus Christ is not unique, suggesting it was stolen or borrowed from the Egyptian mythology. However, as you will see in this video, this simply isn't true. The resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ is absolutely unique in every way. Watch and discover the truth for yourself. Take a look. Let me give you one quick example. Come on, Cliff. The resurrection of Jesus Christ was just borrowed from Egyptian religion. Okay, fine. So I gotta go back and do my homework and find out. Osiris. Did Osiris really rise from the dead? And when you study Egyptian mythology, what you find out is Osiris was killed. He was chopped up into 14 pieces. His sister Isis goes searching for the 14 pieces. She finds 13, puts the 13 back together. And so Osiris comes back to life, but he's in the underworld, mm -hmm. and he's lord of the underworld. And so what I immediately realized is, wait a second, wait a second. This is the only account of, of, of a resurrection before the resurrection of Christ. But it's not a physical resurrection. It's a resurrection of this mythological being with an animal's head, and he just comes back with 13 of his 14 parts. He's missing a part. And it's not a physical resurrection, it's a resurrection in the underworld. Well, that's radically different from the historical resurrection of Jesus Christ, who physically dies on a cross, is buried in the tomb of Joseph of Arimathea, and three days later is raised from the dead, and over a period of 40 days appears to over 500 people who see him risen from the dead. The truth is, Jesus did rise from the dead because that's what the evidence from the gospel point to. Don't believe me, read the gospel of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John for yourself and ask yourself, does the historical evidence point to Jesus Christ being reliable? If it does, put your faith in him, and if it doesn't, then you live your life the way you want to. But the honest truth is, he did rise from the dead and he's alive today. May God bless you.